Hello everyone, welcome to Design Hub. In Design Hub, we provide quality technical content related to the design industry using practical concepts. So, to upgrade yourself please subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. In this video, you will learn about finite element analysis, the essentials of FEA, what are its objectives, and what types of studies are performed to figure out the required results. First, let us see what is FEA. A technique for numerical analysis is called finite element analysis, or FEA. Many engineering disciplines, including machine design, acoustics, electromagnetism, soil mechanics, fluid dynamics, and many others, use FEA to solve problems. FEA is a numerical method for resolving field issues that are modeled by a set of partial differential equations. FEA is frequently employed in mechanical engineering to address structural, vibrational, and thermal issues. FEA is not the only numerical analysis tool available. Boundary element, finite volume, and finite difference methods are additional numerical techniques. Finite element analysis, FEA, is the process of simulating a parts, or assembly's behavior under specific conditions, so that the finite element method can be used to evaluate it. Engineers use FEA to simulate physical phenomena, and lessen the need for physical prototypes while enabling component optimization as part of a project's design process. FEA makes use of mathematical models to analyze, and calculate how real-world circumstances affect a part or assembly. Through the use of specialized software, these simulations enable engineers to identify potential issues in a design, such as stress points, and weak areas. Now, the question arises that. How does FEA work? Millions of smaller elements are combined to form the shape of the structure, being evaluated in the simulations used in FEA. Each of these fine components is subjected to calculations, and the mesh refinements combined yield the overall structure's final result. Each element is subject to go under calculation and the final result will be calculated. These approximations are typically polynomial, with interpolations across the small elements, so values can be determined at some points but not all points. Nodal points, which are typically located at an element's boundary, are the locations where values can be calculated. Partially differential equations are solved using finite element analysis. Now, we will learn about the essentials of finite element analysis. First, we will learn what is nodes and elements. So, in finite element analysis, what are nodes and elements? You separate your model into smaller pieces for FEA they are known as finite elements. All characteristic points, known as nodes, that lie on those elements circumference are connected by these elements. Shape functions are a set of equations that make up this connection. Each finite element has a unique set of shape functions connecting each of its nodes. Common nodes are shared by adjacent elements, the ones on the shared edge. This indicates that these shared nodes are what ties the shape functions of all the model's elements together. Now, what are solid and shell elements? A solid model is a common solid element, in which every part of the component, or structure has a consistent representation of the material. The interior of a shell, which serves as the outer shell, is hollow. Solids with unique shapes can mathematically be simplified into shells. The third essential element of FEA is beam element and truss element. A truss is a structure made up of a web of bars that only experience tension or compression. The fact that the bars are only joined together by pin joints, allows the bars to pivot. A beam is a particular kind of structural component made to withstand bending. A truss is a structural element that is designed to support only axial forces, therefore it deforms only in its axial direction. The cross-section of the bar can have arbitrary geometry, but its dimensions should be much smaller than the bar length. Now let's learn what is meshing, the fourth essential element of FEA. One of the most crucial steps in carrying out an accurate simulation using FEA is meshing. A mesh is made up of elements that have nodes, which represent the geometry's shape. Depending on the type of analysis needed, you can mesh the elements fine or coarse. The calculation and processing of the results will take longer as the meshing becomes finer. However, the results will be more accurate the finer the meshing. Now, let us look into the objectives of finite element analysis. The ultimate goal of using FEA as a design tool is to transform the design process from monotonous cycles of design, prototype, test, and production which is the traditional process, into an efficient process where prototypes are only required for the final design validation. 
Design iterations are transferred using FEA from the physical realm of prototyping and testing to the digital realm of computer simulations. Prototypes are required in traditional product development to support an evolving design. Instead of physical prototypes, simulation-driven product development uses numerical models to guide development.